Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're going to take a quick look at the Marauder Gun Runners. I'm going to get right. Gun and Grub. The K9 Handler MAC-10 Machine Gun and Dog Biscuit Upgrade Set. Now, you're probably wondering, what is that? Well, Marauder Gun Runners has made this little accessory kit um, for your mutt and junkyard, and it comes with this MAC-10 with suppressor, removable magazine, and a three dog biscuits. And I know what you're probably saying right away is, um, I already paid $45. I'm not gonna pay more for a little accessory kit. But let me tell you, this thing here is, as I look at it, $1.99. So you're not really paying too much more to have a gun that looks similar to his, but the dog biscuits, the dog treats, that's what's really cool on this set. Um, but what you're probably saying is, well, what about the shipping and handling? Well, shipping and handling is $2.99, which, again, you're going to be paying 5 bucks for this whole thing. But it's $2.99 for whatever you order. So I won't be reviewing these today. I'll take a look at them in a day or so. But I ordered some other weapons, a whole bunch of weapons here. Um, and it's still $2.99 to ship. So I ended up paying... 17 bucks for this and four rifles and a pistol and we're gonna take a look at them i've never had anything with marauder gun runners so we're gonna take a look at it see how they're out this isn't gonna be very long because there's not much to do but we're gonna see how it looks with mutt and junkyard the pistol and the dog treats now they did give me this bullet belt i'm not really sure sure why but we'll take a look at it. Anyway, let's just get to this. Let's not make this too long. But if you like the content that I'm giving you, if you like this military stuff that I'm doing, G.I. Joe and other companies, Gridiron, and now Marauder Gun Runners, take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I drop some sort of video. Now let's get to this. All right, so here we have it. Again, it, it, it doesn't come with any type of packaging. I know with... Uh, gridiron they give you their little packaging that they do have and you know it's nice and all but i don't think you really need it uh so it just came in a bubble mailer really quick uh i ordered it about a week and a half ago maybe two weeks ago a week and a half ago actually so everything is here so as you can see i do have my junkyard he does have the accessory pack weapon that he came with but we'll take a look at it so quickly let's take a look at this mac 10 and feeling this, I don't, I believe they said these are all plastic mold injection. So they are not 3D printed. You got your nice little trigger there. Some decent design to it. It's, it's nothing too much, but again, this is $1.99. And then we're going to take, you got this long extended magazine here. And see how it actually goes up. All right, so look at that. So now you have this long magazine here that does come out. So if you want to do shots with that. And then, of course, you have uh, your barrel. Now we're going to take this suppressor. Which way we go? Which way we go? I think it's supposed to go this way. Hmm. Okay, look at that. So it is a... Larger hole right there, so it's actually going to go around not so much the tip, but around the end of the barrel, and this thing just kind of locks right in there, and it's nice and straight. It looks nice. Now, there is no hole for, you know, no port for blast effects, and looks like I'm going to have to kind of trim that off, but not too difficult. And then we have our little treats, and this is really what people want and like. Uh, these nice little treats for Junkyard, and what a cool concept, and again, I know a lot of people had bought these, and they all look like they're just the same, so you're going to have your mutt, uh, and he's going to have some treats to feed Junkyard, so now let's see, just see quickly, well, let's quickly, so this is the original gun that came with uh, Mutt and Junkyard. Now, as you can see, they seem to be a little bit different. Uh, maybe this is a Mac 10. I always thought this was more like uh, an Uzi. And now, he, this never had an extended magazine. 
So maybe that's the reason why you don't think too much of it. I'm not a gun aficionado, but I don't really care. I think it looks really good. Uh, it's really cool that they're able to do stuff like this. So let's drop that. And then let's see how it actually fits on him and how it looks. Is it easy to pose? And at the end of this video, I will post a link to the Mutton Junkyard uh, review that I did. So if you're interested in this, if you're trying to figure out, hey, should I really go buy this figure? A lot of people say that their guns run a little small for the uh, 1 12th uh, 6 inch scale. All right. So the handle is actually pretty big. As you can see, I'm kind of struggling to get that in right away. But once you got that on there, it looks pretty decent. It looks pretty good. Well, actually, I think it looks really nice. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there you have that. Let me throw it on here. So you can kind of get a comparison of looking at them. Now we're going to go on counterclockwise here so they're kind of facing each other but it does give you more of a look if you want something that is more of a feel for the uh um, a real american hero our 80s version i don't need that but for 2.99 or for dollar 99 i should say i don't have a problem with it i wanted to try something different and we could probably actually use the holster here so let's try this really quick take off the suppressor and it does fit <laughs> uh, in his holster. So there you go. Uh, you can remove the magazine if you don't want that hanging off. Find somewhere to put it on his belt or his person. Again, nice, nice idea. Nice concept. And then let's talk about the dog treats. So you definitely have to have him holding. Now he has so many different hands. I would assume there's probably one that would make it easier to hold the dog treat. But, since it's not made to go with it, I can't complain that there's not a hand, not a hand that fits it, right? Because it is easily going to fall off here. But as you can see, you can kind of get them to get on one knee here. Be just kind of there, petting his dog. It's easier to get him on one knee right away. Uh, I'm supposed to read the directions, and I got so excited about opening this. So here we go. Little dog treats. And again, you have the perfect face for a junkyard here. Definitely looks like he's excited for it. And... Like you're even pushing in his mouth. <laughs> Look at that. So it works absolutely perfect. He's got a happy face because, hey, you know what? He's a good boy. Unfortunately, his tongue's hanging out. But again, these are toys. So I like this. This is actually really cool. The bullet belt, I'm not so sure of. All right. So let me uh, take a look at this really quick. Um... It says, thank you for allowing us to gun run for you and close as an additional free bonus gift. All right, so that's what the uh, <laughs> the bullet belt is for. Uh, attention, please use use care with for, when first posing your figures. Do not force movement of any joint. Okay, so they're basically just telling you, which is kind of funny. They're telling you. When you're trying to pose your figures uh, with a set, with secondary accessories that you bought, not to force them, which I tell you guys in every video also. So I think it's pretty cool that they do something like that. I don't think they really should have to do that because they're not selling you. Well, you know what? They do sell like head, head packs and everything like that. So I guess there are some things that you can do. Anyway, there it is. <laughs> the, uh, the little... Gun and Grub K9 Handler Mac 10 set. So let's wrap this up. I think this is actually pretty cool, and I'm pretty happy that someone did something like this. 
Uh, again, I know there are other companies that are also making a loadout for this, but this is just a couple things that you can use to enhance your mutton junkyard if you want to. Oh, you know what? It's like since we have this out and they handed, or they handed this, so they gave this to me for free, I guess we should quickly take a look at it. And it is a pull-up belt. Now, I do have a saw here, but it is nice and pliable. It's soft, and the paint looks really good on this. Again, no complaints here. I mean, what a nice company that they threw something in extra for you just because they knew you were buying some stuff. Maybe they knew I was a first-time buyer by looking at my address and everything, but there you go. That is the uh, quick review of this gun accessory, which, again, I definitely do think is pretty darn cool. All right, that's my first look at Marauder Gun Runners weapons. Uh, again, I think they look really cool. This is the Gun and Grub, $1.99. Again, $2.99 ships, so $5 if you only buy this. But look on their site, and you find some other weapons, and again, pretty quick to ship. These are plastic mold injections, so they're not 3D printed. So they are a little bit uh, stiffer and sturdier than, let's say, the gridiron stuff. I would say that the design probably isn't as close to being gridiron with uh, the, deta the detail that they put in, but you're also looking at the price. And I love the fact that we're able to get some other weapons uh, that come for classified figures, and they do a lot of stuff for the 118 scale also. So if you do need something like that, if you're interested in that, Go ahead, take a look at it. Put the dog biscuits. The, now, Junkyard has something to eat other than the hot dog that I have from the $5 store. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you get something out of this. All right, so there you have it. That's my first look at a Marauder Gunrunner stuff. I think they're pretty cool. They look pretty nice. I can't wait to get the rifles out, take a look at them. But unfortunately, I don't have time to do that today. So we're going to get to that later on in the next couple of days but anyway hey if you like this type of content if you like this type of stuff that i've been giving you again i started doing some gridiron stuff well i've done gridiron stuff before obviously we're on gun runners i can definitely see myself ordering a few more of these and obviously gi joe and other brand other brands like that take a second hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that bell notification so you're notified every time i drop some sort of video but i'm gonna get out of here but i know what you're saying I need to see the review for that mutton junkyard. Well, that's right here. And here's going to be a list of some other things that I may have done that have to do with weapons. Take care.